Yes, it is. It is time to dance. It's me, JP. I'm back. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming to the show. It is time for yet another episode of JP's Product Pick of the Week. And uh, I've got a great one today, a really lovely one, and I think you're going to love it, too. Uh, what I'll do first, actually, is send you to a special place to check it out because this URL right here and this QR code will take you right to the product page for today's product pick. And there you will find a 50% off. I have to verify that myself. Is that possible? I'm checking right over here. And let's see, we have them at... My goodness, yeah, we have 86 of these in stock right now. There were 97 a few minutes ago. So people have already noticed the discount, that's great. Uh, and you don't need any coupon codes or anything like that. But before we get ahead of ourselves, what I wanna do is let you know a little more about the product and what better way to do that than to have Mrs. Lady Ada herself tell you all about it. So take it away, Lady Ada. Okay, this by popular demand, by popular demand, I mean uh, Paint Your Dragon asked for it. Um, this is NeoPixel with ultra, ultra high density. So 300 plus LEDs per meter. Uh, so this is a half meter long strip. And you're wondering, why did you go with a half meter, not a full meter? Well, the full meter um, had a gap in the middle and I kind of didn't like it. And so I decided, you know what, if I'm gonna, if we're gonna stop this, I gotta stop the, you know, one that's just a, a smooth, um, it, it's like a very smooth, um, a silicone bead where the colors like mix very nicely. So uh, let's go to the next yeah, we few, got a photos. few photos here. Here's how it connects up. Yeah, and, and there's just some pictures showing the close up. So the LEDs are so close together and they're covered with the silicone that they basically blend. Like you can, like with this, with our nicest camera, you can, and at the lowest brightness, you can see the little dots. But in person, um, not as much. So. You can go to the overhead, and this is, of course, freaking out because it's so bright. Let me start over again. So, yeah, this is um, just ultra, ultra high density, um, 165 neopixels, so you do need a good power supply. I think my power supply maybe isn't that great, um, but you'll need, like, a up to 2 amp power supply uh, for these neopixels. Um, but that said, if you want something, here, let me move this. If you want something super slim and you can even cut it out of the um, silicone coating, this would be great for cosplay or like embedding into like art or something where you want like a perfectly smooth bead of light. Um, and now it's a NeoPixel, so you can change every LED on this entire strip uh, individually just with any NeoPixel code. Yes, that is it, in fact. And what I'm going to do now is uh, jump to the overhead camera here and grab one so I can show you. I've got it right under this here hat. Uh, here it is. And what I'll do is let me, let me bring it up to the main camera and fire it up because I've got it plugged in and ready to go. So uh, let's see, where's that little power switch? There it is. So that's the product pick of the week this week. It is the NeoPixel 332 silicone bead LED strip. It is a half meter, so there's 166, I believe, LEDs in there, and it is gorgeous. So this is individually addressable NeoPixel LEDs like you've come to know and love. And it has a JST three pin, JST SH connector. You can chain these if you want. You just have to be careful about power consumption. What I have going on right here is I've plugged it into a Cutie Pie RP2040 with a little battery BFF and a little LiPo battery. And uh, as you can see here, let me, let me put this in the overhead again. You get a really nice, nearly solid display. You can see as they dim there, uh, they will start to reveal the trick, but at more moderate brightness levels, and this is only at, I think, 0.35 on brightness, it almost looks like a continuous neon strip, except it's got this individually addressable RGB effect to it, which is really cool. Uh, so if we take a look over here at the main page for this, actually, let's go to, let's go to a view where we can still enjoy those gorgeous LEDs there. Uh, the... Let me reload this here. You can see these are, let's see, we have 72 in stock. Good, so they're still in stock. I can still keep, keep uh, telling you why I love these and no one will get mad at me. Uh, so 
like Lamore said, it gives you this really nice illusion of almost a continuous set of LEDs. If you think about the typical uh, NeoPixels, like these right here, you have these big LEDs that are spaced pretty far apart, which is useful for certain things for sure. But if you want to do something that's gonna be seen directly, like some cosplay lighting or props, for example, uh, any costuming, this is great for that. Um, and the way you control it is the same as any other NeoPixel. You can use CircuitPython or you can use Arduino. And we also have some helpers like Fast LED and Fancy LED and other libraries. But here I'm just using a NeoPixel library to do a sort of a comet effect. We also have the LED animation library. And you just need to be mindful about your power consumption. So what I want to do is show a somewhat uh, f practical and also just fun example of this in a sort of uh, quick and easy cosplay scenario. And that's with this here bowler hat. Uh, so I'm just gonna wrap it around the back there. And uh, let's go to a, a full view here so we can see this in action. Uh, and as some of you know, I just got back from London, so this seemed like a, an appropriate-ish uh, <laughs> type of attire. Uh, let me get that flat there. So you can see we've got a really nice uh, NeoPixel bowler hat there, which is great for, well, I don't know what, but it looks cool, right? Uh, maybe a modernized clockwork orange, I don't know. And uh, all of that is done pretty simply with this code that you can see right here. Uh, so you can see to control this, all I do, bring in time, board for some pin definitions and the NeoPixel library. Then I'm setting this up as a 166 NeoPixel uh, LED strip. I'm setting it onto a particular pin that I'm using there, setting the brightness at actually 0.45. Uh, and then I have some colors to start and end with and a little bit of a gradient fade effect that I run uh, in, in order. So first the red, sort of a pink to red, and then a magenta to blue. Uh, and those are wrapping around, uh, as you can see there, around and around. And they look really solid here in this lighting, which is great. And you've also got that nice um, sort of light spill effect when you put it next to something, which is always, I think, a really, really great way to, to show off NeoPixels, particularly on camera. Bounce that light off of something else. Um, and so... Uh, if you take a look at, let me jump back to the product page here. Uh, Rich said in, in our Discord said, oh, the hat may change my mind, uh, right? Uh, Yannick Mari asks, how much current does that draw in white at full brightness? So it's gonna be 166 times 60 milliamps if you do R, G, and B, about 20 milliamps per diode at full brightness. So. Uh, that is, I can't do that math off the top of my head, but it's going to be more than you can get away with just on the, uh, on the board itself. So you'd need an external power supply and you could use either the five volt two amp. I think we have a five volt four amp regulated power supply. And we also have a five volt, uh, 10 amp regulated power supply. So it just depends on your needs. Um, I'm not sure how much we can get off of the LiPo battery in this case. That's a great question but uh, it's enough to run this. And you can see I've, it's kind of nice because they're not all on it at the same time. Uh, and I'm using a mix of two colors and one of those colors is fading as I go. So uh, it's, a, it's a nice way to, to be careful uh, to not exceed your current draw. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of LEDs. Like Lady Ada mentioned, there's a 130, uh, sorry, the, the full meter uh, is 332, but there was a, a bit of a uh, gap between some of the uh, LEDs in it. So, so this was sort of the nicer, neater way to go. She also mentioned that Phil B, Paint Your Dragon, had a, had a request for this. So I'm not sure if he used this in a project, maybe in one of the light, um, light painting projects. I'm not sure, but it's, uh, it's really nice and dense. Uh, so Yannick Murray, yes, standard current per LED. It is a lot for a strip. Uh, let's see, other questions over in our chat. And by the way, if you're wondering where this, this chat right here comes from, that is our Discord. Uh, you can go to adafruit.it slash Discord, go to the live broadcast chat channel, and uh, there's people there having questions. Uh, yeah, really happy to see you running off of a LiPo, right? So let me, let me go back inside there, take that off for a second. You can see I just stuck the cutie pie in a little, this is a 420 milliamp hour um, LiPo, so you can do the math on how long that would last there. And this is a, a setup I had done for another project. So it's actually kind of tall. You could get this much smaller than this. 
but I'm just running to ground power and uh, one of the digital pins on there. I chose the um, Mosey pin there just because it was next to, next to the other ones. Uh, you can charge that by plugging it in. You could also run off of 5 volt depending on how you're uh, set up for power. If you're going over USB, you can, you can probably get that a little brighter uh, coming off 5 volt. But one of the nice things about this strip, put that back on there. Whoop, losing my, it's hard to do all backwards. Uh, this runs off of either 3 volt or 5 volt logic, so no problem running off of uh, modern microcontrollers, which is great. Uh, so someone did the math, Yannick Murray said it's 9.96 amps for the 166 LEDs at a white full brightness. Yeah, so you could do it with our 10 amp 5 volt power supply. Uh, just depends on, on what you're doing, and then batteries might be a different, uh, different matter. All right, uh, so heading back over to our product page here. Uh, this just has links to the Uber guide for NeoPixels. So if you're wondering how to run it, you can, you can head down to, hey, look, there's this video right now. Uh, this big link down here will take you to the guide page to tell you everything about uh, it. Okay, so yeah, this says it uses up to 20 amps max per meter. So this is the half, half meter, so just, just under uh, 10 amps, as Yannick said. Uh, if you wanted to go with full brightness on something like this, you could also, uh, depending on your needs, use one of the analog strips if you're not trying to do um, these types of individually addressable things. So those are the 12 volt strips. All right, uh, let's see, am I forgetting anything? Looks like, uh, I'll, I'll double check the page here, uh, see if we've still got these in stock. We have 54 in stock, so Maximum of 10. If you want to get these right now at this great uh, half price, $18.75 for a strip of them, you can uh, plug them together. You probably need to add power points along the way. I don't know if you'd want to power all of it from, from one end. So you can add power points along the way. Uh, if you're doing a really elaborate costume, for example, this could be a, a good way to do it. And you get that gorgeous effect. All right. Uh, I think that's going to do it. So... Thank you everyone for stopping by. That is my product pick of the week. It is the NeoPixel 332 silicone bead half meter LED strip. I'm a little sad to take it off, but let's see if that'll, oops. <laughs> There we go. Thanks everyone for stopping by. Head on over to this page right here if you want to buy one or ten of them. No coupon needed. It will be discounted price as long as this live stream is live and then maybe a couple minutes after that. So if you got it in your cart, go ahead and check out and enjoy your NeoPixel strip. Let us know how you use it. Uh, thanks everyone so much for stopping by. It's great to be back and uh, I will see you on uh, see, show and tell tomorrow night. Liz will be hosting that, but I'll probably come on and, and show something I'm working on. And then I'll be doing my workshop show on Thursday. We've also got, uh, I believe we have uh, Ruiz Brothers on Wednesday morning with 3D Hangouts. I think they're doing that. I'm not sure if they were going to be out or not, but I think they're there. Uh, and you can check our live broadcast announce uh, page or type in question mark live in the Discord to find out when the shows are. Uh, that is going to be it. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.